Okay. This is Javan and Susan's house. And then there's a little car that we bought. Super Trooper. And then up the hill this way. The house directly in front there, that's Charles and Mary, which is Jarvin's parents. And then the house in the background there is the house that was made for the orphans. 100 girls sleep in one side and 80 boys sleep in the other. And there's some of the kids over there playing soccer and all sorts of things before they have some dinner. So the solar has been fixed to the back side of, you can just probably make out the aerial there at the top. That's uh, on Charlie's house. So they were using that as a church to start with and all the solar board and the solar batteries are in there. So hopefully if we have enough resources, we might actually make another hut for the kids which is a bit bigger so all of the boys can have one and the girls can be in the other and they can also use it as a church because they go down the road it's down this away there's Kerry and Jarvin and Dennis and Jarvin's younger brother Isaac he's just here for the weekend because he's building a house and he's a school teacher about two hours away so normally they go down the road down here a little way. And into the Hambari. Go into the coffee plantation. Over here. So you can see all the pews there. That's their church at the moment. So some girls have just been down to the spring, which is about almost a K to collect some water for the evening. Because the one that's above, on the slope above behind Charlie and Mary's house, got washed away with the heavy rains they had just before we got here. So I'm just going to show you where we are staying. So Jarvin and Susan have very kindly have I they've given over their little house to us. Sorry about the shadow, it's about six o'clock this evening here. Let's go inside. So they've, all of the kids have made these decorations out of their old school workbooks and newspaper that they could find. And they've lined all of the hut with lace, newspaper. So this is normally Jarvan and Susan's family sitting area. Sorry, moved a bit quick there. That's all the sand gear. The 50 kg hard case over in the corner. A few more pieces underneath that couch. And we've moved in, well and truly. We've got stuff everywhere. There's our little food box and utility box over there. And got our water supply for a few days just there. So this is about, what would it be? Two maybe three meters by five and then in here we have one bedroom which Kerry and I are staying in and this will be extremely cozy we thought our van was cozy but this is going to be extremely cozy this mattress is 3.5 feet wide so I think we'll have to sleep on our sides and we've got a mozzie net pretty pokey in here. This room would be 
maybe two two meters by mm, two meters if you're lucky. So there's the door. And we've just got oops, there's the light. So we've got iron on the roof and then just a some um, poles and branches that have just been roughly cut. There's our towels hanging up there. Sorry about that. Little window, which the chooks love jumping in and through and picking up all the little insects and things with a poking about here. We're a little bit freaked out about having a chook roost on us in the morning, but we'll get to that. There's Kezi. And then just in, so that was our room just there. And if we step half a metre, we go into the abyss. Good sound effects, eh? And this is Dennis's room. Which again, is even smaller than ours. But bed's about the same. Mozzie net. Little window over there. Hard to get perspective in here. Sorry about that. And the light's pretty dodgy too. Okay, anyway, you get the general idea. So shoes dry up on the rafters, clothes dry up on the rafters. Probably it's a good idea not having a ceiling in your house. And out we sneak again. Lift up the decorations. And there's Kezi worn out <laughs> from our first day. <laughs> it's fairly overwhelming, but it's great to be here. Okay, hooroo, that's a little view of where we're staying. Bye!